Welcome back! Today, I'm going to try ICM photography for the first time. I recently saw a Thomas Heaton video about this style and wanted to give it a try for my album. I'll link to his video in the description, so let's see what I can come up with. Start the music! So the idea is to whip your camera like this during a slow shutter speed to create a motion blur effect. I'm using a 10 stop variable ND filter, set at 10, and I found that these settings work best for me. A 1 second shutter, F16, ISO 100. It's actually harder than I thought it would be to get a photo that I liked. The recommendation is to photograph in JPEG instead of RAW. I didn't listen to that, and I wish I had because at the end of the day I had way too many photographs in RAW. JPEG is definitely better for this. Now I'm using my Tamron 28-70 and I found that the photographs turned out better the wider you are. Rarely could I get something to look right zoomed in at 70mm. Whipping this lens around did make me nervous because it's somewhat long and you can feel the stress of it when you whip it. I would recommend using a lighter lens. My goal is to buy the cheap, lightweight Samyang 35mm 2.8 lens specifically for this style. That lens would be perfect to whip around. After using the camera for a little bit, you start to get the hang of it. Different whipping produces different effects. As time went on, I ended up doing faster whipping with a roll at the end. I liked what that was producing. So in the end, this is a fun thing to do when you want to try something different. I like it because it gives me something else to photograph during the harsh afternoon sun and you don't have to be so serious with it. You can photograph anything with this style. What do you think of this type of style? Alright, here are the photos to vote on. I like number 9 the best. The trees and rock formation turned out great. Number 3 I like because of the misty look of the statue. And number 4 is just a chaotic green mess, which I like. Not bad for my first try at ICM Photography. So which photo do you like most? Vote by leaving a comment below. And here we go, let's use our Fujifilm Instax printer to add these to the photo album. What do you think? Do these four photographs work well with the album? Hope you enjoyed and see you back here for the next one. Thanks for watching.